Hey everybody, it's Julie, and I want to share with you how to use these letterpress, um, Lifestyle Crafts letterpress uh, sets in your Big Shot um, or your Cuddlebug. Well, I don't know about a Cuddlebug, but, or Big Shot or Big Kick. This will work in. Now, my sandwich is made up of things that I had around my studio. So you're just going to have to kind of, um, oh... I guess you'll kind of just have to try it out and see what works best for you. So my sandwich, before I tell you what I used to um, make this or to do this, I want to share with you what my sandwich is. I use the um, uh, the plate, okay, and I have it open to um, tab one, okay. So I'm using tab one and I just have that open and set right there. And then <clears throat> I have a bunch of little things that I just had laying around and it happens to work out for me perfectly. So I have two pieces of corrugated cardboard and I cut those to about six inches wide a piece. They're six by twelves. Then I have um, a piece of medium weight chipboard, the same, cut out the same. And then I have a lightweight chipboard, but if you have two pieces of medium weight chipboard that'll work as well, work well. And then what you'll need instead of that extra little piece of um, medium weight chipboard, you just need like a shim. Okay, so which can be just a couple sheets of cardstock or a sheet of cardstock or whatever, but you're going to need to experiment and see what works for you. All right, so the first thing that you need to do is the letterpress kits come with several things. You get a background image and then you get some more of these little side images. We're, I'm just going to show you how to do this background image today. So the plate looks like this, and mine is well used because I've made like a ton of them already because I was kind of trying to, uh, you know, just work it out how to do it. So you get this plate, and on one side it's fairly smooth, okay, but you can see where the, uh, you can feel barely where the embossing is. But on the other side you can definitely feel it. That's the place that you're going to put your ink. So I'm going to set that down on my Sizzix. And I'm going to figure out what ink I want to use. I've decided that I wanted to use my um, Stampin' Up! ink in Eggplant Envy. And this is just a water-based dye ink. <clears throat> and this one's kind of old. I've had this for a long time, I think. And you need a brayer. Okay, you have to have a brayer for this. Otherwise, you're just going to stamp down with your pad onto um, your plate. So you can do it this way, too, if you don't have a brayer. But I think a brayer works easier, and you get a more even color. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to ink up my brayer. Okay, and to do that, I'm just going to keep rolling across until I feel like I've got a good amount of ink on there. And you'll have to do that a couple times. Sorry if the camera's moving. You'll have to do that a couple times um, to ink up the pad properly. Now, you can buy the inks that go along with these letterpress kits, okay? They do sell them. The only reason I picked this up is because I noticed it was on clearance at Hobby Lobby. And I wanted to give it a try out. You know, I got that um, Sizzix Ink It letterpress thing the other day uh, from Blitzy, and I just really wasn't happy with it. I didn't like how it turned out, didn't understand how to use it, whatever. Um, so I decided to try this because I wanted to try it with the full-size plate. And I do like how it looks. So now I'm just going to ink this up really good. Okay. Sometimes your first pass at it doesn't come out very good and you have to do another one uh, just because you might have missed some spots where you're inking it up. I'm going to use just a four and a quarter by five and a half um, piece of cardstock, okay? And I'm just going to just set it right down here on my uh, plate, okay? Sorry if you can hear that in the background, but it's uh, starting to storm here. And then you're going to use one of your plates, okay? This is just one of them. And I'm just going to set that down right on top. And then I'm going to use all of my shims here. And I guess that's basically what they all are, is basically all shims. And I'm just going to push it through. And then I'm going to just roll it through. It's not really that tight. Um, it just gives just the right amount of pressure to, um, you know, get all that ink off of the uh, plate. Okay, so then I'm just going to pick these up. All right. And pull my plate out or my um, pad out here, and then I'm going to lift this up. And sometimes the paper comes up, and sometimes it doesn't. If it comes up, just try and catch it before it goes back down. Okay. And I'm just trying to lift it up here, and it's not really stuck down, but I'm being very careful because I don't want to take the chance of it smudging. Okay, and that's what you come up with. Now tell me that that is not beautiful. 
I absolutely love this. I think it comes out so pretty, and I really think that this would be a great background for a card or a wedding invitation, anything like that, and it's super easy to use. The only thing that's confusing about it is trying to figure out what your sandwich should be, and that's the hardest part. It really is. Let me show you um, first. It took me several 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 times to get the sandwich right okay I mean you can see that I've done six or seven tries here where the results just weren't what I wanted and there's one of the images and that wasn't good at all and then here's another one where the image wasn't good <laughs> okay and then I kind of started to figure out like this one is a little bit better so then once I got the sandwich down I made a bunch um, because I wanted to have a bunch of different colors to play with. So I have some browns, and I love how the brown came out. And this is Stampin' Up. Oh, no, this is the Chalk Ink by um, Colorbox. Okay. So I made a couple of the browns. I made some reds with the Chalk Ink. Love the red. The red comes out so beautiful. This is kind of like a rusty color. Then there's this uh, poppy color that I got from this is the Stampin' Up poppy. And then just a darker red. And then this, I love this color. This is actually supposed to be like a bluish color, but it actually came out on the press like almost like a gray. Super pretty. And then here's one of that purple again. I just love how it came out. And then a bigger one of the brown. Gorgeous. You can do so much with these and they, you could die cut these, make them into whatever you wanted. But I just love how they came out. And I know that a couple people had asked me, um, you know, to show how you did this. So I wanted to do a video uh, as soon as I could with uh, instructions on how to use the Lifestyle Crafts letterpress printing plates inside your Sizzix Big Shot. All right, everybody. Have a wonderful day. You guys have, I hope you had a great holiday and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.